Welcome back my pupils, this is Gene coming to you with Reload from the Hot Pot. Today, I want to talk about my Vector Optics Taurus rifle scope mounted to my Vergara 6.5 Creedmoor. I am very proud to have Vector Optics as my channel sponsor. They are my official optic sponsor of Reloading from the Hot Pot and my competitive shooting. The technical specs on this Vector Optics Taurus scope is 4 to 24 power, the objective lens is 40 millimeters, the optics coating is a diamond FMC coating. The eye relief is 4 inches. Length is 15 inches. Weight is 27.2 ounces. It has a 30 millimeter monotube design. 1 to 10 click value on the mill reticle. Elevation range 15 mil. Windage range 15 mil. Parallax adjustments 15 yards to infinity. The illumination is six levels of brightness and the battery type is a 2032, which is very common. I absolutely love Vector Optics. I use a Vector Optics on my carry optics gun. I use a Vector Optics on my open gun, which I will be running uh, dedicated this year. You know, I am a reloader. So I've been working really hard on designing a load for this Pagara 6.5 Creedmoor learning all about the brass process and bullet weights and powder types. So today I'm officially going to take this to the range and put the first shots through it. I'm going to take some factory loads as well as some of my hand loads to see how they run and the accuracy of them. Vector Optics has become very, very well known in the world of competitive shooting and they are slowly but gradually rising to the top of it. All of Vector Optics products are very, very easy on the budget, but you can definitely expect a very high quality product for the price. For the price range of a Vector Optics, you would not expect such nice qualities on it, like the diopter is very firm to turn to adjust for your focus. The magnification ring is very easy to turn, but yet still firm. And it does include a screw on the top of it to lock it in for your magnification. If you're shooting bench rest, long range, you've got everything dialed in. You can screw this down and it will lock down the ring so it will not turn. The mounting rings on this Taurus I really like because they are six screw, three per side, which guarantees that that scope is not going to move. The windage and elevation are fully adjustable and you can pop it up to turn it and push it down to lock it in. The clicks on it are very positive, very firm, very tactile. You can hear them and feel them. If you're out hunting or target shooting and all of a sudden you're facing the sun, you're getting that glare into your scope, Vector Optics does include a honeycomb sun shield that screws in to the front of the scope. Unscrew this extended protector and then put the honeycomb sunshade on. That reduces any and all light glare coming into the front of the scope. On this side of the scope, we have a field of view that goes from 15 yards and you turn this all the way to infinity if you're out shooting at a thousand yards plus. With the addition to have an etched glass mill spec reticle, this also has an illumination center dot on it, which is easy to turn from here. Turn it on, and it does have six levels of adjustments, which also go in between. It shuts off and then goes to the next brightest one. Shuts off and then goes to the next brightest one. Very nice feature. That way you know that you are going in increments of brightness. So if you're interested or in the market for a very, very nice top-end rifle scope on a working man's price, definitely check out Vector Optics. If you use code HOTPOT10, you can save 10% off a purchase of any Vector Optics products. So I'm getting ready to head to the range with my Bagara 6.5 Creedmoor with my Vector Optics Taurus rifle scope on it. It's going to be a great day, so be on the lookout for that video coming next. I wanted to do this one just to explain a little more about it before you see the actual shooting video. All right, my pupils, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you, and always remember to keep blowing that smoke.